Welcome back, one and all, to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time, I, I don't exactly remember what I did last time. I was here in Valentine. John's got something for me back at the camp. So I figure we can just go ahead and do that. I'm going to change Arthur's clothes. Come now, looker. Oh my god, why is this got to pop up every now and again? Uh, da -da -da -da. Hello, friend. Five finger fillet. I wonder if there's a new bounty. Somebody help me out. I was in the army. Oh, not you. Well, here's the sheriff's office. And I don't see the sheriff sitting outside. Maybe there's a new bounty. Um. Yeah, I probably should. No new bounties. If you come back to propose marriage, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Best here to say hello. No new bounties. I'm not allowed to Can greet I you. you. The hell are you looking at? Okay, I'm leaving. You're not a talkative type. That's fine. No new bounties. Nope, not up. Okay. Won't he, let me talk. Okay, girl. Hello, sir. Hey, brother. Hey, mister. Mister. I never learned your name. I never did. You're like a brother. But I didn't learn your name. And I said to myself, Mickey, you never learned that fella's name. Now, you'll never see him again. And you'll be sad. Like when your puppy passed. I just slept on it. <laughs> What's your name, mister? Arthur. Arthur? My uncle's name was Arthur. <laughs> Uncle Arthur, we called him on account of his name. <laughs> it's a fine name. A strong name. Like a king. You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. Yes, you could. Okay. I probably could, though I'm not going to. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm not even going to bother with that. Okay, let's go see what John... Oh! There's a fucking train in the way. Great! Gotta find a way around that. Oh, smoke. Where there's smoke, there's usually a campfire. And where there's a campfire, there's usually a person who might be friendly, offers some nice advice, and just a good uh, conversation. Or he's an asshole you need to shoot in the head. You know, just things. Oh, it's a homestead. Now then, let's approach with being friendly and cautious and not shooting people in the head. Oh. And there's a white blip. Oh, hello again. Good to see you again. 
We're moving along slowly, but less than surely. I got more chance of teaching a pig to sing opera than to turn this pair into carpenters. <laughs> you don't look so bad to me. Uh, I asked God for sons, and he sent me donkeys. Ain't that right, boys? <laughs> well... Okay. Oh yeah, I remember I helped this guy out deal with some, just some criminal type people who are doing criminal type things and there's a slight glare on my TV screen so I'm having trouble seeing where I'm going. It just being overall dark and night doesn't help. Sunshine, warmth, spring is on the horizon. I know that I said that a while ago, but I really need it this time. I hope spring is coming, I'm sure of it. Honestly, I'm just glad it's not freezing cold. I cannot stand cold weather, but to be completely honest. I can tolerate the heat. I can deal with the heat. I'd rather be 100 degrees than 20 degrees. I cannot stand cold weather. That's, that's Fahrenheit, because Fahrenheit is better for environmental temperatures. Because you can step outside when it's 69 degrees and say, nice, instead of dropping dead from heat stroke pretty much immediately. I mean, Celsius is better for chemical temperatures. What did I kill? Okay. I'm not seeing the animal. Eh. Must not be too valuable then, because I honestly cannot see it. Assholes being their friends. <laughs> Poor Kieran. I sure kind of like that. Uh, tell him morning. 
I got myself a bottle of tea here. Pure Leaf, good stuff, no sponsor. Uh, I just I just like it. It's sweet, not too sweet. Actually, it's got a lot of, it's probably got more sugar than I need. Real brew. Um, if you, I put it on my Twitter earlier, or a while, I say earlier, it was, uh, over the weekend. Sprecher Brewery, good stuff. That makes some damn good soda. And presumably some damn good beer, but I don't know because they don't sell it around anywhere I live. Because Texas has its own tariff on beer. As do, well, other states, I'm sure. Hey, Arthur. One night when I was what do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. I've got a bad feeling about this. I keep trying to hit that button to bring up my map. By that I mean the touchpad. Strawberry. I got quite the bounty around strawberry. Oh, and that's because Micah has something for me. Well, that's that guy. Set up to the gunsmith. Hello. It was a heap of trouble, but I got Mike out of jail. No, oh, thank you, Arthur. So where is he? Still out around that way. Looking for a peace offer and he said. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right then. Karen. Morning, mister. What you up to? Just minding my own business. Okay, keep it that way. Well, good talking to you. Karen seems like an all right guy. But it's he's gonna have to earn these people's trust. Now then, let's go see if there aren't any more new toys for me at the gunsmith.
think you're talking to? You know who the hell you're talking to? You do not want to mess with me, my friend. You want your hide hung? Okay. Do it then. You're dead meat. Ah! He started it. And because he shot me first, he, I will not get any into any kind of trouble for doing this. Okay, that girl. Now I can go sell that at the fence. Oh, wait, oh, whoa, Arthur's jacket's kind of bugging out there. That's kind of funny. Well, I can take carriages around for fast travel, I guess. Don't really feel like doing that. It is morning indeed. Actually, it's almost 3.30 as I'm recording this. So it's afternoon, actually. Where are you going? Hang on a second. There's something no. up with this one. I can tell. Look at this fake. Careful, everybody. Morning. Whatever you come looking for ain't here. Clear these streets. And what are you gonna do if I don't? All right, let's do this. Bat, I will do that if you try that. If you're gonna shoot at a man, make sure you kill him. You hear me, Bucko? If you're gonna shoot at a man, make sure you kill him. You won't be needing that. Dollar thirty. Wow. Even in eighteen ninety nine, a dollar was not a lot of money. Come on, girl. Granted, you could buy a lot more with a dollar. Inflation and all that. Benedict Albright was cursing you till his last. Sheriff. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Mm -hmm. Keeping all us decent folks safe. Hi. No, you don't have any new bounties for me? Morning, sir. How you do? Hey, mister. How's it going? Well, good luck to you. Goodbye. Oh, you're still here. Morning to you. Oh, you're still here. Okay. We had enough of your crap. Why don't you make tracks? Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. My words to now, Sheriff, your deputy's kind of an asshole. Ouch. Mm, do come in. So, what are you aiming for today? Now, oh, let's have a look. Hmm. Uh, 
I do not have a lot of money. I want the Springfield rifle. That will be the next rifle I save up for. But I'm going to need another hundred dollars to go do that. I know what I want, but I don't have two hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah, I'm sure you do. You got a problem with me? I keep hitting the damn touchpad to bring up the map. I don't even know why. That was freaking Horizon Zero Dawn, not. their cam nearby they got bill tied up i'm gonna go take care of it come on oh, sloppy bill yeah well you coming all right lead the way okay so how'd you find it you said he was going hunting never returned <laughs> what is with arthur's jacket only a matter of time before they decide to pick up camp and head for town to collect the bounty. Guess we're inside again. When are we not, Arthur? Fair point. What'll Dutch do? Ain't for me to say. Doubt Bill will like it, whatever it is. He's a problem. We all know it. Is that for me to say? I think it is, Arthur. Well... Let's save his ass first. Worry about how to kick it later. Yeah. Say Bill's sorry hide. I'd really like to kill some of these deer running around. I'm guessing it's going to be the smoke. Now hold on just I'll a second. Thanks. 
Xavier. I owe you for this. Well, I'm gonna head back to camp. Find a bottle and nurse these bruises. Yeah. I'm headed to camp as well. Thanks, Arthur. When they gonna learn? Okay. Let's see if I can't find me a deer. You're probably hearing my parents in the other room. I know I'm, this is just the pinnacle of commentary here. So endearing, so interesting as I walk slowly tracking an animal that I probably won't even get a very good pelt off of. You've got to be kidding me. Unknown animal track. It's this fucking horse. Okay. All right.
kill. Probably bounty hunters. Yep. Oh, and look at that, some poppies. Yero. Can't carry anymore. I'm not gonna let the plant go to waste. I'm gonna fucking eat it. You just don't even care that I'm standing over a corpse. Well, I mean, they did start it. Now this looks like trouble. It's still in good condition. This here. Oh, Driscoll's. Yep. Damn dirty O'Driscolls. Come on out! Got him. Okay, now let's eat something.
salted meat. I think this is a good place to end this. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2 as I continue through the Wild West of 1899 and continue to do more crime things, probably involving oil wagons. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.